Hello guys and welcome to this new class in where we are going to see how to add text, I mean titles, and scrapbook items. Let's start with the normal text. We have a specific tool called text here next to labels and thanks to it, if I hit it, I will be able to add a text field in my paper document. I have two ways in order to add text. I can just click and release and then this text will be written following a line from that specific first point. When I finish one click outside and I can select it and transform the text box, right? Or I can hit the tool, click and drag and create the text box first. Adjust its size and then write the text. This is up to you, but first of all, if we want to have our paper document well organized, I recommend you to create a layer. If we go over the layers tray, we can check that we have here different layers, dimensions and labels, added elements, default, and on every page. In the next episode, we will see this on every page layer. Anyways, let's add another new layer, and this time the name will be titles and a scrap book items. Enter. Dimensions and labels always on the first position. We make sure that titles and scrapbook items layer is the active layer right now because we want to draw inside this layer. And then is the correct time for hitting the tool text and let's add here our text. One click. We could go over the text style tray and change the font. Let's use this Verdana font. Let's choose the black option. Size 10 points is okay. Then I will active the caps lock and time to type in plan floor. Escape and then when I select my text, look because I could play with it using these different options up here. And if I change the text box, then it will make more sense because I will be able to align left, center that text, align right, place that text on the top, center or at the bottom. I can even use this option called unbounded because the text now is bounded. So if I click this option, the text box, will be adjusted just to the text. Anyways, I will select a line left and then I could move it wherever I want. We could continue making this title better and better. Let's add a line, but first I will lock again my viewports, this one and this another one, lock. Then let's hit the line. I will go over its specific tray because here you have to make sure that the stroke is the one active and not the fill. Then we can draw the line easily. We can even change its thickness and we could add this same text under the line, right? So hold down control key and I copy the text. Then two clicks, I move over the text style. Let's select this time normal and we could type in here the scale, for example, one, 200. One click outside. Let's adjust this text a little bit better. We could even use the arrow keys. Once I am happy, selection box, right button, make group. And then we can move all these different items together easily, right? Well, this is one way for adding text or titles to our paper document. Let's see now another one, which is called a scrapbook items. It has its own tray. It is here scrapbooks. If you don't find it because it is closed, remember it is like in SketchUp, you have to go over window and then unhide a scrapbooks. Once we are here, we can expand this window and we'll find different categories. I strongly encourage you to lose some time going inside all of these categories because they are kind of libraries in where we will find different drawings as people, cars, arrows, trees, and many different symbols or items used in architectural drawings. All these TB something are elements normally used in architectural presentations. 
and layout includes a surname like contemporary, elegant, plain, simple, depending on the graphics. So for example, let's go over this TB simple. One click, then we find here the first drawings, but we have more, not just these ones. If I expand now again the window, we can see that this folder TB simple has inside different layouts, different folders inside, right? Drafting symbols 1, symbols 2, symbols 3, auto text, enable, seat index. We could go over all of these different layouts or folders using this arrow key. And we change the page of that scrapbook, but we are always inside TB simple. So let's say that we want another title for our floor plan. We can search for it and here we find something that it can be interesting, right? So then one click and drag into my paperback, then I release and here we have that item. If I scroll in and I select this new element from that library, I can check that it is a group with different elements inside. So I can edit all of these different elements. So let's do it. Double click. I am already inside the group. I select my text first of all. Double click again. Ground floor or plan floor. Anyways, doesn't matter. I could even change the font. We already know that. When I am happy, one click outside. Let's go now inside this scale text fill. Let's add here one 200. One click outside. Now I will select this element and I will change the number. One maybe is better. One click outside. One click outside. Another click outside. So here we have our two different titles. One was made manually. The other one, the other one is a kind of template. So it is up to you. This time I will use the template, I select it and I move it to the correct position. One click outside, let's scroll out. I think I will use here the ball font. So again, inside the group, two clicks, text style and let's select the ball font. Once we are happy, we can use escape or click outside. I will select my title, hold control key, click and drag and let's make a copy here and let's change the name of the main title this time will be section and the number will be two. So as you can see, the scrapbook items can be very, very useful. If we go back over them and we continue exploring this TB simple, maybe we could use this section line in order to mark specifically where is our section plane placed in the floor plan. So let's place it here, double click. I select the element. Be careful because if I scale it to the right side, I am distorting not just the dust line, but this rectangle. So I shouldn't do it like that. I need another step. So let's go inside the group. Let's select just the line and then is the correct moment for a scroll out if I need it and make this line long enough, for example, till here. Then I select the rectangle, control key, I make a copy, I place the copy in the correct position, one click outside or escape. And now let's adjust perfectly this section line. Here is okay. Let's back again to the scrapbooks. I think that we need to mark the north. This is always very important in architectural plans. Let's see if we find this north symbol. Here we are. I will use this first one. We should check now what is the position of the north. I remember that it was more or less like that. So I can rotate my element and here we are. To finish with this class, I would like to show you a specific scrapbook. I'm talking about the trees. So I expand the main window. I go over trees plan because we have elevations trees and plant trees let's say plan. And here again, we have different drawings, different graphics in order to represent trees from a top position, right? Let's select this first one and then just click and drag and we place our tree in our desired position. Let's take here this one. 
this one we can move it we can scale it holding down shift in order to keep the proportions let's use this another one which is smaller maybe this one this green one don't cover our dimension too much but as you can see we can make our presentation much more beautiful using these elements we can place another one here even touching our building this one as well this is up to you and another very interesting folder is the one called people if i go over people and i expand it you can check that i have the scale included with the drawing with all the templates this is very useful because for example if i select a small metric translucent then here I can check the scale. We are working in 1, 200. I will select this guy. I'll go over the section elevation. One click. I place my woman. And I know that it is already in the correct scale. I will place another guy. Just in order to make our drawings more lively. Once we are satisfied, maybe we can go over this bar down here expand it, select zoom extents like we used to do in SketchUp. If I hide now the new layer, we'll see the changes without the titles and scrapbook items. And now with them, you should know that you can edit these scrapbook folders and include your own drawings and you can even make your own folder but definitely this is an advanced process you should open a new layout file work on that file save it as a scrapbook and another option if you want to increase your scrapbook libraries is to go over the internet and download different scrapbooks from there so time to say goodbye now and in the next episode we will see how to include master elements which will be always placed in the same position in every page.